Here's how I 3D kitbashed some space pirates. It's been a hot minute since I've done a 3D kitbash, so here we are. I wanted to use the Arachno vectors from the Maker's Cult for a long time now, and finally got the motivation to do so. That motivation came from the guys at War Scenery. I printed out some of their desert terrain, which is perfect for games like Stargrave. I thought desert robotic pirates would fit in perfectly with the terrain and would be fun to fight against. Make sure to check out War Scenery for some really great War Scenery. I brought a few Arachno Vector bits from the Maker's Cult into Blender, as well as other bits from their Dark Techno line, and started making poses. These Vox backpacks are from their Universal Guard line. I moved files around with the Elastic Deform tool in sculpting mode to make them look more natural and to hide things I didn't want, like the original backpack, which was clipping through the new Vox backpack I added. I ended up making a squad of pirates carrying a variety of equipment and weapons, again mainly pulling from the Arachno Vector and Dark Techno line. I had printing failures on the shoulder pads because I didn't realize it had big gaps between the arms and heads, so I added spheres to bridge the gaps. I realize this isn't probably the best practice, but it's too late and I already did it. I printed it out and it was ready for action. And by action, I mean painting. As always, I started with a Zenithal highlight with Pro Acryl Neutral Gray. I'm not sponsored, but I really like the stuff. It never clogs. Then, I sprayed from above with white ink. Finally, I sprayed from below with a red ink. This adds a little artistic flair and will make the shadows warmer. Huge Miniatures sent me a bunch of paints to try out, so I'm going to be using a lot of their stuff for this paint job. I'm working on a paint review for their paints, so stay tuned. First, I used brown leather on his armor and arm. Then, with Cardinal Red, I painted his scarf, some armor panels, and a few thin racing lines on his helmet. Also, just a side note, I bought this silicone mold at a craft store, and it works really well as a dry palette for metallic paints, which was the next step. I used metal color steel and copper, and painted all the metal and trim. I made sure to avoid any straps on his legs, which I left white. I wasn't as precise as I would have liked with this step, so I had to go back with white and clean up the white armor panels. I painted the panel on his backpack and wires with antimatter black. and painted the lightning bolt with sun orange. And with that, the base coating was done. I then did an oil wash. I went over this in more detail in my last video, but basically I applied some with an awful brush, then wiped away the excess with a clean brush and let it dry overnight. Then I did what I always do, which is highlight with a base color mixed with either an off-white or white. I want these guys to be all rusty and dinged up, so I made sure to highlight by stippling and making little scratches. For the eyes, I tried filling them with blue but I thought white looked a little more evil and spooky, so I ended up going with that. I then highlighted the metal with either silver or gold.
I recently got some dirty down products and it was time to put them to use. Make sure to shake the living bejeebus out of these. I took a little rust and mixed in a little water in a lid and applied it to the model. And did the same with the verdigris. After about 10 minutes it looked like this. I'll have to experiment more with the Dirty Down products, but so far so good. It was easy and gave a great look in minutes. I added the minis to their bases, and they were done. Thanks again to War Scenery for the FDM terrain. It looks great on the table and printed really easily on my FDM printer. Make sure to check them out with the link below. If you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. Consider checking out my Buy Me A Coffee if you're trying to support the cause. Leave any feedback and suggestions in the comments below. Alright, bye bye